Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about how we can find the area of shapes that are not just regular rectangles. So our learning goal for today says, I can find areas by decomposing or completing composite figures to form rectangles. So friends, that's just a lot for a learning goal, but all that it means is you can decompose a shape so you can chunk them into smaller shapes and break them apart, right? Breaking apart is decomposing. We've already learned how to do that. And this says, or by completing composite figures. Composite figures are just um, different shapes that are combined together to make another shape. So it could be two or three rectangles combined together to make a different shape. Okay, so don't let this learning goal trick you up. Okay. All right, so the materials that you'll need are a dry erase board. You'll need your lesson 13 template that happens to look like this. So make sure you pause the video, grab these materials, and then click play when you're ready to get started. All right, friends, we're going to start with our application problem today. So it says Mrs. Walker finds the area of a 5 inch by 17 inch rectangle by breaking it into two smaller rectangles. Show one way that she could have solved the problem. And then what is the area of the rectangle? So we have learned how to do this already. You're gonna draw your own rectangle that's five inches by 17 inches. You're just breaking it into two smaller rectangles to make it easier to multiply. Okay, so pause the video, solve this on your dry erase board, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, friends, here's how I solved this problem. So here's my rectangle, five inches by 17 inches. I chose to break apart my rectangle right here to make two smaller rectangles to make one of them have a length of 10 and of seven, because anytime I can multiply by 10, that's so much easier. So we know that this other rectangle, the opposite sides have the same um, measurement. So that's gonna be five inches as well. So 17, our five by 17, I have turned into five times 10 because that's the area of the first rectangle plus five times seven, which is the area of the second rectangle. Multiply five times 10, which is 50 and five times seven, which is 35. Combine or add 50 plus 35 and you get 85. So the area of the rectangle is 85 square inches. So notice how you could have potentially different numbers that you're multiplying with. As long as you come up with the area of 85, that's fine. You could have chosen to have a rectangle that's nine and eight to give you 17 as one of your side lengths, okay? So it's just on how you choose to break apart the rectangle into two smaller rectangles. All right, let's look, get started with our lesson. So make sure that you grab your template for this part. You're gonna draw and shade the shape on your grid. So just like what I have here, you're going to draw like this L-shaped figure on your grid. Make sure it's exactly the same. So the side length should be four across the left, the four across the bottom, and then you have to draw out those little squares um, in there and then shade that in. So go ahead and pause the video, do that part, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. So how do you find the area of a rectangle? So just any rectangle, how do you find the area? Yeah, we multiply the side lengths, right? Length times width. Can we find the area of the shaded figure by multiplying the side lengths? So this figure that we have here, can we just multiply the side lengths to find the area? No, we can't. Why can't we? Because we don't have like a rectangle, right? Like we're missing this chunk right here to make it a full rectangle to be able to multiply by. So, hmm, how can I do it? Hmm, wait a minute. I'm thinking back to our application problem. We took like the rectangle and split it into two smaller rectangles. So how can we use that, that strategy to help us solve and find the area of this shaded figure? What can we do? Yeah, we could kind of draw a line right here to cross and make this into two smaller um, rectangles. You could also have drawn your line right here and that would end up giving you two rectangles as well. 
All right, so I'm gonna label my side lengths of this new square that I have. This is two by two, and the larger rectangle is two by four. So now I want you guys to figure out how to solve and find the area. You guys know how to do that when we have two rectangles. Just take your two rectangles and combine them together, the area of both to combine, um, and then find, that'll give you the area. So go ahead and do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, so my first one would be two times two, which is four, and my second rectangle with blue would be two times four equals eight. So four plus eight equals 12. So the total area is 12 square units. You could also check that by just counting your squares. Okay, so we can also find the area of a shaded figure by thinking about it as a four by four square with missing units. So I could think about it like this. This is four by four, right? If I was just thinking a regular square. How can we find the shaded area using the unshaded square? So what would we have to do with this little guy right here that's unshaded? Yeah, we'd have to subtract it, right? Because it's not part of the total uh, shaded figure, so we'd have to subtract that part out. So we would do four times four, because that's our actual rectangle that we have there, our square. Okay, so that's 16. Then we would come in here for this little rectangle and find the area of just the little rectangle. Now you could count your squares, which would be four, or you could do two times two, whichever way you choose to do it. So you would have 16 minus four equals 12. So you're taking the whole total square that you had, which was 16 square units, but you have to subtract out that little square because that's a unshaded part of it. And then you would come up with 12 square units, okay? So that's another cool way to be able to do it. So you can focus on breaking it into two parts to add, or you could turn the whole thing into a square or a rectangle and then subtract. So you have different options. So the rectangle below is made up of two rectangles. I want you to find the total area. So you can do it any way that you would like. If you want to, friends, you are welcome to split your shape into two parts, or you can turn it into one giant square and then subtract, okay? All right, so pause the video, find the total area of the figure, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so I chose to do the break apart strategy and break it into two smaller um, rectangles. So this is five by two, and this is three by two. So five by two is 10, so five times two is 10, and three times two is six. So I combine those two as well together, which would give me 16. So the total area of this square of this uh, shape is 16 square units. You could also check yourself by counting it, okay? All right, how can we find the area of this shaded figure? Ooh, so this one looks a little bit different, right? All right, so we could break apart the shaded, uh, break apart the shaded part. Okay, so like into two different parts, two different rectangles. Remember, we've learned about that many ways, many times. You could break it right there, and then you would have that smaller square and the larger rectangle to combine to find the total area, or we could subtract the unshaded area from the shaded area. So you could find the whole area of the whole giant square and then subtract out the area for just the unshaded or white part. All right, so here, friends, let's take a look. We're gonna show you how to do this. We have the whole rectangle or the whole square would be six times six, right? Because that's how you find the area. So we know that that's 36. Then you would come down here for this little rectangle and we're gonna solve and find what the area of that is. So friends, what's two times four? Yeah, it's eight. So now what are we gonna do with that eight? Yeah, we have to subtract it out, right, from the larger square. So we would do 36 minus eight. And 36 minus eight is 28. So the total area of the shaded figure is 28 square centimeters. Okay, so that's a cool new way that we can learn. 
this is where you're talking about those composite shapes um, and we're combining it all together to be able to then subtract the part that is unshaded. Ooh, here's another one. All right, so how can we find the area of this shaded figure? You guys are it. Pause the video. Go ahead and solve the problem the same way that we just did. Okay, this one you're definitely going to want to find the total area of the whole rectangle and then subtract out the area of the unshaded rectangle in the middle. Okay, so pause the video. Show your work on your whiteboard. Find the total area of the shaded figure only, not that part in the middle. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends. So here we have the total rectangle, which would be four times six, right? So length times width or width times length, same thing, would be 24. Then we have to find the area of the smaller rectangle inside, which would be two times three, which that's an easy one. Two times three is six. So now we have to subtract the six out from the larger shaded rectangle. So we would have 24 minus six, which would equal 18. So the total area of the shaded figure is 18 square inches. All right, so here's a different way. The figure below shows a small rectangle cut out of a larger shaded rectangle. What's the unknown for this one? Ah, so before they were giving us all the information, but now they're not. So what information is unknown? Yeah, we're missing the side lengths of the smaller unshaded rectangle right here. So do we have enough information to find the side lengths of the smaller rectangle? Yeah, we do. You know why I know that? You have to think about it for a second. But remember back to when we learned the opposite sides are the same. So if we know that 11 across the top is 11 feet, then the bottom has to be 11 feet as well. So we can solve that like a missing add end. So it would be blank plus five equals 11. Okay, I'm getting my blank from that unknown side right here. And then I already know that this is five feet. So now I have to solve what number do you add to five to get to 11? So you could subtract that, right? You could do 11 minus five, or you could do five and count on. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So that's six. So I could fill in that missing information right there. So now I know all the side lengths of that whole side. Then I have to go to my opposite side, the width. If I know that this side is nine feet, then this side has to be nine feet as well. So I could solve that by saying four plus blank equals nine. And then we could put four in our head and count up to nine. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So four times, or four plus five equals nine. So we could fill that in. So now we know all of that information. So now we have enough information to be able to find the area of the shaded part. Okay. All right, so you're gonna pause the video. You're gonna find the area of the shaded figure. So just the part in gray. Now that we know all of this is just like we've done in the previous problems. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here I chose to find the area of the entire shape. So that would be 11 or nine times 11, which I know is 99. Then I could subtract, or I could now I need to find, excuse me, I need to find the area of the smaller unshaded rectangle, which would be five times six, which is 30. And then I have to subtract out that smaller rectangle. So 99 minus 30 is 69. So the total area of the shaded figure is 69 square feet. Okay. All right, so nice job, friends, finding areas by decomposing or completing composite figures to form rectangles. Okay, so remember, decompose is where you're breaking it into the two smaller rectangles to solve. And when you're completing the composite figures, that's where you're turning it into one giant rectangle or one giant square, finding the area, and then subtracting out the unshaded part. 
Okay, so you guys did an awesome job. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.